Hello, my name is Ty Scott. This is part 9 of a course on Java, and um, it's all about if statements. So this is dead easy. Uh, there are two forms of if statement. Um, the first one is called an if-then statement, and uh, it looks like that. And uh, what this says basically is um, got an expression here, which has to be of type boolean, or its wrapper class, in which case it's unboxed. And uh, if um, that turns out to be true, then you execute that statement. And um, uh, so the statement is executed only if the Boolean expression is true. Now, um, a block counts as a single statement, where a block is a group of statements enclosed in left and right curly brackets. And um, the brackets are recommended even if you've got only a single statement for reasons that I'll explain later. Okay, here's some examples. Um, we've got here uh, if a fork number is greater than three, then recall equals true and recall count is incremented. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, here's something that might occasionally catch people out. Um, we've got uh, boolean equals false, and if boolean equals true, then print out boolean is true and what happens of course is boolean is true is printed out and the reason for that is that this is not um, a test for equality it's an assignment that's taking place here so you've got to watch out for that that doesn't catch many people but uh, sometimes people are called out by that so uh, it should be equals equals if most likely that's what it's meant uh, if we look down here um, uh, here's a, an example. This will give a compiler error because instead of testing whether i equals 5, it's setting i to 5. And of course, the value of such a, an assignment is an integer, it's not a Boolean, so that gives a compiler error. Uh, this one sometimes catches, can catch people out in C and C++ because you know, that is allowed as a construct in C and C++. But of course, uh, with uh, Java, um, uh, Booleans are not numeric types, so uh, that's not a problem. This is the second form of if statements. It's uh, called an if-then-else statement. And uh, basically, um, same sort of thing. If expression turns out to be true, you execute the first statement. Um, otherwise, you execute the second statement. And um, it's all fairly straightforward, and uh, these are the recommended layouts. Um, it's probably a good idea to put them like this. Uh, here we've got uh, if expression 1 and some statements, otherwise if expression 2 then some statements and so on. And um, if it's none of those, you execute this thing down here. Uh, uh, it's best to avoid this sort of thing. Um, and put the brackets in. Um, and I'll explain why on the next slide. Uh, this is the reason for putting the uh, brackets in. It's something called the dangling else problem. Okay, so if you take a look at the following piece of code, um, basically we've just got a boolean b1 set to true, and it says if b1, so it's set to true, so you execute this, i equals 7, and then it prints it out, so um, 7 will be printed out. Okay. Now, supposing sometime later someone comes along and modifies it to put in an extra line here that says if b2 i equals 9. Now, b2 is false, so of course i equals 9 is not going to be executed. But now, if you look at what gets printed out, it's not 7 as it was before, but it's 8. And that's because it's changed the meaning of this else. What happens is the else is attached to the um, preceding if, which is that one, not to that one as it was before. And the rule is, um, generally the else goes to the immediately preceding if, at uh, provided it's the same uh, syntactic level, so to speak. So um, that's why it's attached to that, and so uh, what's executed is this down here. Right, now, if you put the brackets in, now it doesn't matter what you put in there, 
the else is always attached to that if because everything between these uh, left and right curly brackets is treated as a single statement and um, I said a sort of lower syntactic level so the else goes with that if and uh, that's the reason for always putting the brackets in it's just so that uh, any modifications don't produce unexpected results.